Today's victim is a Pipe Dream Torero 5.5 with the main Rock Sox forks and uh, it's got um, the heavy duty extra firm spring in it and as you can see it's only used that much travel in a week in Scotland so uh, we have what is supposed to be the lighter spring here so uh, we go on and change the First thing to do is to remove the um, the disc caliper. So uh, post mount. So just undo the two bolts and get the the disc. So I've got that off. So now undo the um, screw on top of the compression knob, like so, and pull the knob off. And then undo the um, U-turn lever top again, similarly. Long side allen key. And that lifts off. And there's three little ball bearings. There, there and there that give the springs. We'll get those out and there's springs underneath. Right, Dave. Um, Loosen both caps with the 24mm um, socket, so just brush the dust off, stop going in the fork, and uh, you need to loosen the, uh, the nuts at the bottom, all the Allen keys, this one's lost the rebound knob by the looks of it, so yeah. So, now we can undo the top caps. Right, we've got them fully undone. And now if you just push the fork up, we should come out. And now we can undo the nuts on the bottom. Oh, we'll have to give them a tap. Just a Trusty rubber mallet. Yeah. Right, and now the oil should start dripping out, which it has then. Yuck. Yeah, Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's doing my YouTube video. So that's that bit out. Right, hold on. Ten minutes stops. Yeah. Put new brake fluid in my my clutch and, and there's the spring right so now you can uh, pull the fork lowers completely off hopefully like so give those a good clean give those a good wipe over and uh, take the damping out and have a look at that right that's the one we took out marked with um, black paint at the top that's the extra firm and this is the one that's to go back in, the red one, which hopefully is a medium. So the, it looks slightly thinner steel. So um, hopefully it'll make it a bit more usable. Just in the compression leg, you've got to take the uh, the oil out of there as well. So I'll turn the fork upside down and train that out. Right, giving it a wipe out. So it's ready to go back together. And it needs um, 10 cc's of 10 weight in the bottom of the fork this side. 10 cc's of 15 weight in this side, that side, God. And then 200 cc's in the uh, damper of five weight, so. Just grease the seals, so uh, that goes back on. Right, that's the fork legs back on, so now I can turn it upside down and pour the fluid in through the holes there and put the uh, bolts. So there's the oil dripping out of the uh, damper, so I can now put the um, oil in the top of the fork leg and it won't come out the bottom. So that's 10 cc's, like so. Then it's push the fork fully down and then in the back goes the bolt. Tighten that down. He's lost the rebounder adjuster. So, uh, never mind. 
you need to put some grease on the outside of the spring as well. There we are, nicely greased. So that can go back in the fork leg. I think so. And I've got to pour the oil in now, 10cc again. Right, got the fluid in and the bolt up. And i just got to extend the fork now and tighten the top. There we are, top cap back on. Just got to put the little springs and the balls back in there and put the top cap, the cover back on, the U-turn lever. And a 200ml of five weight to go in there. Or 200cc. And that's the last one going in now. There we are. Back in with the compression cartridge. Tighten that down. So that's the knob on. And the screw, and tighten that down. Back. So on this side you've got the spring and the ball bush bearing to put in. So you just put them in three of the holes. Just dab a grease on them and top back on. Like so. Just put that back on now, and it's all ready to rock.